As always, we promise you the uh, the biggest guest that we can get. And on the Patrick Netherton Show, there the guests don't get a whole lot bigger than former LSU coach, current Kansas head coach, and a man who's going to be inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame this weekend. He is Les Miles. Coach, how the heck are you? Um, I'm I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this weekend. I'm really looking forward to seeing the other inductees. Um, Peyton Manning's going to be a part of that crowd. I uh, watched his career from a distance, and I uh, I really look forward to to being a part. Absolutely. Now, Coach, I just want you to know we you and my producer Rogers Hampton and and I we share a bond in that we are all survivors of Brando. We've all had to, to be in, in on a broadcast with Brando at the same time, and we've all survived. So we want to welcome you to our group. Our support groups meet on Wednesday, just so you know. <laughs> I want you to know, he so helped me. And, and when I was uh, working with him in, in the booth, and uh, it was a, uh, first of all, he challenged me to be good. And, and secondly, you know, he gave me tangible ways to do so, and uh, I, I appreciated it. It was a great, it was a great uh, experience. Well, and Brando, no matter what you say, he's darn good at it. No, at he's amazing. No, he is incredibly good at what he does. There's no doubt about yeah. that. And and look, we we mess with him because we love him. I mean, you know, we we yeah. worked with him for a long time. And we've known. Well, him I'm forever. not quite going that far. Okay, he's okay. I'm all right with that, Coach. I'll accept that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you did get to do something really cool, and that is you got to call your kid's game, which is, is not something that a lot of people ever get to experience. What was that like? You Give me that. I want to hear that again. You, you, get to, you got to call your own kid's game while you, were, while you were in the booth, right, at Nebraska. Oh, absolutely, yeah. I, uh, yeah, I, uh, he, of course, he was, he, he was in his red shirt year. Yeah. And, and he... Uh, but I enjoyed every time I saw him as he walked onto the field, as he ran onto the field, and uh, and he was a part of that that club, and I was awfully proud. Of him, so. Talking to Les Miles, Kansas head coach. Coach, this is this is interesting because I think a lot of Louisiana natives, you know, they feel a certain way when they get inducted into the Louisiana Sports Hall of Fame. Obviously, Peyton Manning, a New Orleans native, is going to feel a certain way. What's it like to be, you know, an Ohio guy, a Michigan man, who is basically an adopted son of the state and is being recognized by the state this way? It, it, that's got to be well, an interesting feeling. We have, we have, after a certain period of time, you know, living here in this state, my family grew up here. I have two boys, one's at Texas A&M and one's at uh, Kansas Jayhawks. Um, I have. A daughter that swam at Texas, and a daughter now who's playing fast pitch softball in Kansas. But the great majority of our time has been right here in Louisiana, and, and it is home, and it will always be a residence for us. And uh, I, uh, I, I think I'm as attracted to the people of Louisiana than, than any place that I've ever lived. And uh, certainly the, the time we spent here was productive. So my kids call it home. Kathy and I call it home. We're uh, just very honored to be inducted to the Louisiana Hall of Fame because I, rightfully so, know how many tremendous athletes and athletic personalities are, come out of the state of Louisiana. Coach, do you? How much are you are you keeping now that you're at Kansas? Obviously, it's it's a different challenge. And and before we talk a little bit about Kansas, I'm curious, how are your relationships, and and how much are you keeping up the relationships with all the high school coaches around Louisiana? Because I would imagine there's some great opportunities for you to get guys out of the state to go and play for you. Yeah, we're uh, we recognize that there's a uh, large number of athletes, certain football players, and uh, they can't be taken all of which by the by LSU and uh, so we are in a position where we're, we're going to recruit and give guys another opportunity and I think I think that we've been received very well talking to Les Miles head coach of the uh, of Kansas University coach 
tell me why Kansas. What what was what was it about this opportunity that made you want to get back in? Well, Jeff Long was was in, in my professional life for quite some time, and, and he and I maintained a uh, relationship. And I knew that I would be able to communicate with him extremely well, and in what we need, and when he wants to compete. And so I was very, very comfortable with um, the idea that I, I could operate with him, and that that would be that would be a uh, um, something that would be very positive for in, for my career and for his career. Now. Kansas, I wanted to I wanted to do something that hadn't been done there, and uh, win and play for championships, and to recruit extremely well in the Kansas footprint. I think has not been done here, and we're we're going to do things that that uh, are going to shock some people, but not the people that know us, because we're going to work hard. We're going to do all the things that will make us stronger and more confident, and uh, we'll look forward to stepping into this league as we did when we were at Oklahoma State and played tremendously competitive football. Yeah, and I, that kind of leads into my next question, Coach. What what will Kansas look like? Uh, you know, you're in a league that, that features a lot of high-powered offenses. A lot of teams score a lot of points. How are you looking to come in and be competitive in that, in that arena? Well, we're going to have the opportunity to throw the ball as well. We, we have a nice receiving bar and it's something that, that will – look forward to using. Um, we'll also uh, push the ball out there on the on the ground with some of these folks to, to see if we can maintain the the uh, the uh, clock advantage, keep the ball longer than the opponent. And then if we're scoring what no matter you know, whether it's the run or the pass, and then our defense comes onto the field rested, I think that there's some real advantages for that style of play in this league talking to les miles head coach of the jayhawks and uh soon to be inductee into the louisiana sports hall of fame coach when i when i mentioned that you were coming on i had a, a immediate friend of mine who's a mizzou grad said we want ku mizzou back on the schedule uh you're a guy you were involved in the bedlam series you were involved in lsu alabama you know how these rivalries are obviously michigan ohio state uh michigan michigan state Tell me about uh, your feelings towards a potential KU Mizzou matchup somewhere down the road. Yeah, we would like the opportunity to play really a lot of teams, certainly Missouri, with a natural draw being so close. But uh, there's a, there's a uh, there's a lot of real quality football teams out there in this college world, and we want to we want to sample them and, and, and have at it. And, uh, certainly, Missouri. Be, close enough to, to get too quickly. So, Coach, I'm curious. You got to spend a little time away from the game in the media and then even a little bit of time away from the media. Um, we hear a lot about guys who, you know, John Gruden, uh, Urban Meyer, guys who when they left the sidelines and hit the media, they felt they learned some things that maybe they didn't know by talking to a bunch of other coaches in game prep. Do you feel like you learned something from being in the media that you can take with yeah, you to Kansas? The, the preparation in the media is very similar to the preparation of a Saturday. You don't have to call the plays, but you have to be able to witness the matchups and the opportunity to take advantage of, you know, certain things. And I, uh, you know, there's, there's some obvious times where the team was better and, you know, looking, you know, at a uh, scouting report gives you one look, but looking at a, uh, looking at it in a, in a way that the media constructs this guy's injured, just, you knew more. And, uh, yeah, I think, I think the opportunity to learn more was certainly there. I enjoyed it. And that, you know, and, and it also, the style of football that, uh, is winning college football games. The Okie defense that, that is played you know, pretty routinely now is, is something that we will as well uh, look forward to playing. And the spread offense is something that we will also look forward to playing. And the uh, some of the things in special teams, I, I think we'll, we're going to have some advantages. We're going to certainly uh, 
look forward to, to playing the schedule that we can, can call ours and, uh, and, and then hopefully, you know, put some real competitive games in there. Talking to Les Miles, coach. I'm I'm curious. You there's a unique challenge of being at Kansas, not just for the football program, but also because you know Kansas is often referred to as a basketball school. Uh, yet we've seen videos with you and Bill Self. You seem to embrace that idea. What's that like trying to kind of get people interested in football when you know they've seen such uh, such great basketball t- you know, times, and that's kind of where they seem to be focused. How do you work about getting them back in focused on football again? Well, first of all, Bill Self is just a joy to work with. I mean, he's a guy. He, he Kansas basketball gets better if Kansas football is better. Kansas football gets better when Kansas basketball is great. And so, so Coach Self and myself see it exactly the same way. And I, I can tell you, working with him, it's, it's been a joy. Um, the, uh, now, and what was the second question? Uh, and, and just the getting the focus back on football uh, for a, a primarily basketball. I, you cannot imagine how loyal the Kansas fan is. They're waiting for football season. They have, they they're looking forward to having success in football as well as basketball. And uh, uh, yeah, I, I think there's some things that basketball is doing in recruiting that, that's an advantage. And I think that uh, I think that the, the Kansas fan base will see improvement pretty quickly. Coach, are you at all? Were you all at, at all reluctant to take the Kansas job because of your burgeoning acting career? <laughs> I don't know that uh, that there was any any hesitation about taking the Kansas job. The uh, I, I can tell you that I I did enjoy um, telling a story. I did enjoy being a part of a team that told that story, and that everybody there had to do their job uh, as well as they could so that the story would be artistically viewed and enjoyed. And uh, so I kind of got that. And then the the first movie that I looked at was The Challenger is Out. And uh, it's a Challenger disaster and and how that decision was made. And it was very informing. I played a technician that that, uh, that was for the decision to launch The Challenger. And... uh, that was a mistake, and uh, and then the last one is the uh, the whistle, the last whistle, and I play a tough guy uh, in the community that uh, that's picking on a football coach that had a you know, had a disaster himself, and the fact that he lost one of his own players. So uh, those t- those stories, you know, were. Not just movies; they were, you know, stories that, you know, I get to learn from. And so I, uh, I enjoyed that. It's not to be compared with what is a last mission. When I took the field with my team. I so enjoyed it in every at every turn. And so, when I took the field with the Kansas team, it was exactly the same. These guys, they want a dominant culture. They want to play hard-nosed physical football, and I enjoy it. Finally, Coach, the induction ceremonies Saturday night. Um, what are you most looking forward to for this weekend in Natchitoches? Well, I, uh, I'm certainly honored to be a part of this you know, very distinguished group that's being inducted. But I'm also going to look forward to the opportunity to say thank you to so many people that you know, made this uh, this career just work, just go. So, uh, yeah, it'll it'll be a great day. And again, I really look forward to hearing from the other inductees. Coach, thank you so much for your time today. I, I know you got to go get ready and. and get going with the ceremonies and look we wish you nothing but the best in uh, in lawrence and we're looking forward to you bringing some titles up there appreciate it thank you very much all right les miles kansas football head coach